Hello everyone, it is Wednesday, May 6th, and it's time for another Quick Update. This week on Quick Updates, COVID and C8 Life Week is next week, and webinars are wrapping up too. So let's get right into it. We've been encouraged by the number of you who continue to use easy mail to reach out to your member of parliament or provincial representatives during this time. You've sent messages of encouragement. You've sent messages of concern that our governments understand the true value of worship. Thank you also for continuing to use this tool and for building those relationships with your representatives. As Andre always says, it's about having a relationship first, policy second. The law and policy team have developed two new easy mail letters for you to use, one concerning some of the unintended impacts of the COVID lockdown and one directed at the federal government's bill introduced earlier this year, aiming to ban what they are calling conversion therapy or Bill C-8. You can check out those letters and more by going to easymail.arpacanada.ca. Next up, Tabitha joins us to talk about the arrangements for next week's Life Week. Hi everyone, 2020 is going to be the year the March for Life came home. Next week, it's Life Week. Normally, there would be marches for life across the country, but because of COVID-19, we're staying home, but we're still getting that message out there. Make some signs, put them up in your window or on your lawn. Use sidewalk chalk to make that point that when we're caring for the most vulnerable, that has to include pre-born children. Be creative, use the hashtag LifeWeek2020, and let's get that message out there that we need a law that protects pre-born children here in Canada. Back to you, Colin. Thanks, Tabitha. The Life Week ideas continue. People are organizing convoys for life across the country, and you can too. We have a pro-life prayer service live stream planned for next Thursday and would love to have you join us. Many pro-life events are still happening. Learn more about each of these at arpacanada.ca slash lifeweek2020. Finally, Arpa Eddy has a message for us after his webinar marathon over the last couple of weeks. Thanks, Colin. One more webinar coming up in the grade six and seven Gone in Government series. It's entitled Political Action. Action inspires action. And we're going to talk about a whole bunch of stuff. Educate, equip, encourage, reformed perspective, relationships first, policy second, plungers, lighthouses, shalom, the public square, grassroots. Not grassroots because it's springtime and you're out in the lawn. No, grassroots because we want you to spring into political action because ARPA is you and action inspires action. So last webinar, grade six and seven, God and Government series. It's also our final quarantine webinar. Thank you to the ARPA colleagues for the work they've put into these. We could cover a wide range of topics, conversion therapy, SOGI 123, pre-born human rights, the role of the Christian with civil government, our role with government now during this COVID-19 time, politics from an eternal perspective, just to name a few. Thank you, colleagues. Thank you to you, our listeners, for chiming in on those. And we sincerely hope and pray that you are educated, equipped, and encouraged to political action. And we also hope that you will bring a biblical perspective to our civil authorities. Keep praying, keep working. God bless you all. Back to you, Colin. Thanks so much, Ed. That's all for this week. Next week, we won't be having quick updates. We'll be focusing on Life Week activities, and we would love to have you join us also next Thursday instead for ARPA's Pro-Life Prayer Service. Thanks to you for watching Quick Updates. Please do like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.